congratulations are in order. Although Marshall Falk once upon a time told me, don't say congratulations to somebody who just retired. I don't know if it that if that's fitting for you, <laughs> Fletcher. Is it? I uh, you, know, you know it's you know it's you know it was great. Been a really good long. Uh, successful 12 years at a high level so i figured it was time but, okay yeah thank that, you no you are welcome so let me get into that why, why did you figure it was time fletcher well you know just going through uh like last year i went through a bunch of uh just uh ups and downs like far as physically uh you know uh with the body and especially you know honestly the man 17 uh, the, the extra game actually uh it, it affected a few things um, and, you know, me you know, I'm like, I don't miss games. You know, I don't miss a whole lot of practices. And, you know, I kind of felt like to myself, you know, I would be lying to myself if I told myself that, you know, I could continue to do it at a high level. Um, so, you know, I figured it was it was time to call it. So was it during last year that you thought this is the end? Yeah, it was just some weeks I would come home from games, uh, you know, um, just in doing the process of trying to get prepared to go to to play another time, another another game on Sunday which, you know, during the season, we all know it's a long season, right? You know, mm -hmm. we all get physically beat up. Uh, and, you know, just some, sometimes it's, you know, sometimes I, 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 found, my, I found myself asking myself why. Um, and I always told myself, whenever I feel that way, I, I know it's time. Uh, I enjoyed it. I still feel like I played at a really high level last year, you know, even with the ups and downs and missing some games and missing some time. Uh, but, uh, but uh, yeah. And then uh, I imagine, was there anybody in your life talking you out of it or or at all uh, Fletcher a few people was trying they you know they uh they, they said maybe why, why you know you still playing at a, at a really high level I think you get two more years out of this game and I was like yeah you know but then again when it comes to week 10 or 11 you know uh you know when the when the when the real comes to grind time um you know you body's going through the same amount of stuff that you went through the year before and you know I didn't want to be that guy you know I, I know it's you know, could I play? Yes. You know, but, you know, it was it's one of them things where it was, it was time to call it, Rich. Yeah, I mean, five sacks, seven QB, 17 QB hits, 36 pressures in 15 games. You've 188 games played. That's the third most in the history of the Philadelphia Eagles. So, obviously, there's tons of mileage. And you said the 17th game, you felt it? You you, you absolutely uh, felt it? You can it? feel it. You can you can feel that you can feel that 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 last game when the start gets to that that last game later in the season you're like how many more games we got you're like oh we got four more and that's 17 game I mean you can you can actually feel it so what would you um, you know say to people who wished you stuck with it Fletcher just you know I mean a lot of a lot of people in the building uh, you know friends family um, you know they. They all, I, I tell them all, hey, like, you know, it's your opinion, but it's my, I have to live through the, the, the pain, right? And and I think when I told my loved ones that the people that I'm close to, they was like, man, you know what? You're right. You know, I can sit here and say, hey, you know, keep going, you know, but it's not my body's going through, it's your body going through it. And once I explain that to them, then that's when they, you know, they actually understood, um, you know, where I was coming from. Fletcher Cox here after 12 Hall of Fame NFL seasons deciding to hang him up right here on the Rich Eisen Show. Any sense of not wanting to hang him up because the season, your last season, didn't nah. go as well? No, no, sir. That, that had nothing to do with it. You know, that the season, that the way I was in the season last, ended last year had nothing to do with, you know, with my decision. You know, my, my decision. And that was one of them things where it was, you know, it was made. And, uh... And I, I was I wasn't going back um, you know, or anything like that. And a lot of people asking me, hey, what if a team call you week ten or eleven? I was like, well, they'll just be calling because you know, I, you know, when when I'm done with something, I'm done with it. Okay, so that was going to be another question: is of what if they, uh, what if what if the Eagles called you? But that that's for another time. <laughs> what I was just what I was inferring is that the season didn't go very well, so you didn't want to end your career off of that. Like maybe play one more time, you want to run it back. Like that was the sense, well, like for that. For you. Yeah, but you know, you 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 want to run it back, right? You want to do things like that to try to make up for, you know, not end the way that it ended. But then again, you, you know, it goes back to what we talked about and opening up with. It's going back to you know just putting my body back through, you know, just just everything. Uh, and you know, I just, you know, I, do I wish, you know, our season would have ended better and I would have retired on on a higher note? Yes, but did it? No. And uh, you know, just. 
that's part of the part of and part of being a pro and playing in the NFL. What are you going to do? What's your plan? Fletcher, what do you have? Uh, the plan is just uh, slowly make a transition, you know, moving back. Uh, I mean, everybody knows like, I own a, uh, a decent sized farm in, uh, in in Texas, North Texas. So just slowly make that transition, you know, from from up here, up north, um, down uh, down there. So um, and I'm in no rush to make the transition. Just kind of still go soak it all in. Um, I'm, I'm sure I'll be around here, uh, you know, in the Philly area. Um, so just making that transition. You know, I get to definitely get to spend more time, you know, with my with my family, especially my nephew who's growing up on me. I get to go watch him uh, actually this weekend, go throw shot puts. And uh, I'm, I'm excited about that. Uh, so uh, shot put and disc, it'd be my first time ever watching him at a sporting event. So really excited about that. OK. Um, and then just, you know, just continue on with life, you know, um, just finding new things to get into. Besides, obviously, being on the ranch all the time working um, and just, you know, just enjoying life, honestly. Do you any media thoughts? Do you want to do that? <laughs> uh, I haven't. No, not at the moment. No. Okay. Well, if you want to do no, that, no you know, media thoughts at the moment. Yeah, you know, I mean, we could we could do a podcast called "You Clown, Bro." You know what I mean? Like we could do one of those. <laughs> yeah, clown for that. <laughs> yeah, we got we've got the we've got the drop ready to go. But if whatever you whatever you're interested in, Fletcher, if there's anything um, you know, I could be a part of or or interested in. You know where to find me. I really over, over yes, sir. I appreciate it. Man. Oh, I always enjoy coming on. I appreciate when you come on and and your your play and your consistency and your brilliance at it for so long in a very difficult spot for some to play in and for you to excel in it is worthy of all the praise you've received. And I just wanted to have you on, to have a conversation, and be able to tell you that. Yes, sir, man. I appreciate it. Uh... Like I said, man, I always enjoy talking to you. Mm -hmm. As soon as they asked me to reach, come on, I said, absolutely. I love going on there, and uh, it's always a pleasure. I appreciate that. I guess before I let you go, which of which of those footballs is the most uh, valuable to the one behind you? What are, the, are those game balls of yours? What are those behind you there? Uh, so on the left side right here, mm -hmm. this probably touchdowns or uh, strip sacks. Uh, mm -hmm. And then on the other side, the game balls. Okay. Uh, on the other side over there, I'll, like, there's okay. some games, there some of my game balls. Uh, some of them, my goodness, wow, yeah. that's about twenty, Dang. if I can count, about, about at least yeah. close to twenty. <laughs> okay, is that a, yeah. is that an AJ Brown jersey in the corner? Eleven or that is AJ Brown jersey? Okay, yeah, he uh, he signed it for me. Okay, um, after the season and gave it to me. Then you got my picture right there. Why? Look at you in the draft. Drafted. Look at the draft. Yeah. Look at that kid holding <laughs> up the jersey. Oh my gosh. Look yep. at that. Who was the first one to call you? Was it Roseman or, or Reed? Who was the one to call you that night? Who called you that night? It was it was, it was uh, Howie. Okay. And then, uh, Andy jumped on. And Andy jumped on. Yes, sir. All right. And the touchdowns, how many? How many? How many did you have? How many? Hundred? I think it's uh, touchdowns. Yeah. Three. Okay. If I'm kind of Pro Bowl four. Okay. Because I scored in, the, scored in the Pro Bowl. There you go. Why not? Yeah. Fletcher, thanks for the time. Thanks for the memory lane. Thanks for the, on behalf of all the Philadelphia Eagles fans that I know, for the 12 remarkable years for the 12th overall pick of the 2012 draft. Well done, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.